Good evening. Coming up in Mellow TV Evening News, Montego Bay Arcade shooting leaves two dead. Another attack on a beryllium security team leaves two injured. The latest incident in St. Thomas. And motorists are being warned against using unopened sections of highway. And now the news in detail. The Major Investigation Division is currently investigating the shooting deaths of a man and a woman in Montego Bay, St. James. The victims have been identified as 30-year-old Ricardo Green and 24-year-old Vanessa Hopkins. Their bodies were found in a room occupied by Green with their hands and feet reportedly bound. Green was a father of six children, is described by his father as hardworking. Doing like I was selling on the road, you know, him egg and sandwich and 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 and. and, and. So the food food vendor. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, right, man. Yeah, man. And when was the last time you spoke to him? I talked to him last night. I went to come come check on this morning. Oh, oh. yeah, man. So, so what 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 right here took place now this morning? Well, me he said, I, I, my cousin called me and tell me say, he said them 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 them, them tie up here and 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 shoot him. So that is where he was living? Yeah, yeah, at, at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So what type of person was he? Well, hard working, you know. I, mean, I know with every, with every youth and, 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 and every one of them, we listen to what you say. You, you, you are sparing, so you, you, will, you will talk to them, but and all, of, all the while, the words what you say to them, reach them. You take, you take them a time. Some of them, some of them will survive youth and some of them just not survive it. You know, he has any children? Yeah, six. Six children. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where is he from originally? I have a van in my hand, you know. Because he used, he used to be a part there, but so because, you know, he, 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 he now to listen to what I say. And for my home now, he's a family home. You know, so it's like the, 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 the home run half of one other. The police are currently processing the scene. And Melo TV will provide updates as the investigation continues. And still on crime this evening, an Uzi submachine gun and 13 rounds of ammunition were seized by the Enhanced Security Measure Team during a recent operation in the Clifton community of St. Catherine. The police reportedly dis observed four men acting suspiciously and upon approaching them the men fled a search of the area led to the discovery of the weapon and ammunition this latest seizure comes as intensified operations continue in the st catherine south division investigators are ongoing as the police work to identify and apprehend those responsible for possessing the weapon the National Water Commission, the NWC, is working to restore water supply to communities served by the Ferry Hill Well Facility in Portland by tomorrow. This follows the residents' protests of the disrupted water supply, bad road conditions, and a dust nuisance. The NWC explained that the chlorinatory pump at the facility had been causing problems and disrupting water supply to customers. The affected areas include Ferry Hill, Ferry Hill Housing Scheme, Ferry Gardens, Boston, and Zion Hill. The NWC has been providing interim relief by trucking water to these areas. The NWC also dispelled rumors regarding the removal and relocation of the pumping unit. A beryllium security officer and a civilian were injured during an attack on a security unit in Albion St. Thomas on Saturday while servicing an automated teller machine ATM. Police intercepted vehicles believed to be involved in the incident later that day, resulting in a shootout with the suspects. The outcome of the shootout is unknown at this time and is it unclear if any cash was stolen. This is the latest attack by gunmen in a string of robberies targeting beryllium security teams. The police are investigating the incident. The National Works Agency, the NWA, is urging motorists to avoid driving on unopened sections of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. This follows a fatal accident in Albion St. Thomas where three people were killed and nine injured. 
According to police reports, the vehicles involved in the crash were using a section of the highway that is not yet open to the public. The agency's communications manager, Stephen Shaw, said that the practice of using unopened sections of the highway is not uncommon and blamed the indiscipline and disrespect of some motorists. Mr. Shaw also stated that the contractor, China Harbor Engineering Company, is doing its best to prevent such incidents. Opposition spokesperson on National Security Senator Peter Bunting claims that the recent decrease in murders is a result of the People's National Party's past governance. His statement comes after the Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, reported a reduction in crime rates over the past seven years. Majority gave a sectoral um, presentation last week. <laughs> and he made a big deal. And, you know, I don't grudge him on the fact that this year, murders have been lower than the previous year. I think it's up by about 16%. And he said it's been the lowest in seven years. But I wonder if you realize the significance of seven years, Comrade Julie. That was the last time the PNP administration was in office. So even though he has seen a decline this year, at the rate that murders are going this year, it will still be higher than the highest year under the PNP administration. So we are happy and we welcome that there has been some improvement. But just to put things in context, it is still higher than the highest year between 2012 and 2015 when we were last in office. Mr. Bunting disregarded the government's states of public emergencies, SOEs, as a contributor to the reduction in crime and instead praised the increase of police officers, which was a long-standing recommendation of the PNP. So that could not be what is responsible for the reduction, even though they have been persisting with that nonsense for five years previously. So what is responsible? In his, in his presentation, although he didn't make the connection, he mentioned that a thousand odd new police were recruited each year for the last two years. We have been telling him at the Crime Management and Oversight Committee, CIMA, for three years that what he needed was more police boots on the ground. Not military, police boots on the ground. And what we're beginning to see now is the benefit of the additional police personnel in the divisions that generate most of the violent crime. And what they need to do is focus on that. Stop this propaganda, this big lie about state of emergency. It is just a waste of resources and unnecessary suspension of people's constitutional rights and the framers of the constitution and in particular the charter of rights never intended that to be used as a routine tool of policing and those are the stories making the news this evening thank you for tuning in to Mela tv evening news i'm nicole hales stay safe and thanks for watching